you won't believe it. You just will not believe what I'm gonna to present to you in today's video. When I discovered it, my jaw dropped, and to, to be honest, I'm, I'm still in disbelief. So whatever you do, turn off all distractions and watch every second of this video because what you're gonna see in here is gonna leave you in absolute disbelief. You ready? Let's go. It's not being reported right now in the news, but on a neighboring island of Lanai, they, they found 183 bodies washed ashore there. There's 800 as of today reported missing. There are many hundreds that are being refrigerated right now, trying to get ID. They're asking people on the island to provide their DNA so they can match DNA to others. Outside the media, they're expecting this to reach almost 2,000 people in death toll. This is right up there among the worst, if not the worst, since us becoming a nation as fires go. 85 Paradise, and that was considered the worst? That was Pastor Jack Hibbs revealing shocking information that we don't hear on mainstream media regarding the terrible situation with the Maui fire. What is being reported on mainstream media is this. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, the team that's supposed to be digging through the ashes and delivering aid, has turned the tragedy into a junket. FEMA booked themselves in the five-star luxury Hawaiian resorts. They're shacking up at the Maui Four Seasons, beachfront, of course. Rooms there are $1,000 a night. It's not just the Four Seasons. FEMA agents are also posting up at the Fairmont, Keelani, and Maui, where rooms range there from $1,300 to $4,500 a night. FEMA agents are also crashing at the Gran Walia Astoria, five stars, of course. Are these the hotels Biden's FEMA officials should be staying in, gallivanting around in and drinking in, as search and rescue operations are underway with 500 kids still missing? Now, FEMA has confirmed that they're staying at these hotels. Biden's giving Maui fire victims $700, while his FEMA officials sleep at luxury resorts that cost more than that per night. FEMA officials could stay at the Days Inn where you could get an oceanfront view for 250 bucks a night. We confirmed it, rooms are still available there. Now when did FEMA develop this taste for the finer things in life? Because FEMA's administrator, Deanne Criswell, is complaining that they don't have enough money. We're watching our disaster relief fund very closely. Um, our estimates do still stay that we may um, have a depletion of our fund now. I mean, this is a day-by-day -day monitoring of the situation. Uh, we will start to move some of our recovery projects and delay them until the next fiscal year. Whoa, FEMA has a $25 billion budget. Please make it make sense. Maui fire victims get 700 bucks total to rebuild their lives. Meanwhile, FEMA officials get $1,300 per night in rooms at the Four Seasons, Fairmont Kealani, and the Grand Wailea in Maui. Nobody in Hawaii that's went through this tragedy should be worried about where they're staying. The president of the United States should have a gold card. He should be able to walk into a hotel, and plop it down on the counter and go, how many rooms do you have tonight? Oh, we, and we need more rooms. Then you go over to the concierge and you go, hey, uh, in case you don't know me, I'm the president of the United States. And uh, do me a favor, call around town and let's get everybody uh, that needs a hotel room, a hotel room. And then you take these poor people uh, who need help and you put them in a hotel room. If we can do it for uh, people that break into our country, we can do it for people that uh, are in need. Uh, this shouldn't be hard to do. And this should happen. Like in, it, it should be instant. It should be the same day. Nobody should worry about that they have nowhere to go. Not in America. This is uh, disgusting. If you think that's the big news for today, well, I have information that, like I said, you won't believe. We've talked all week about Maui Police Chief John Pelletier. He's the guy who was in charge of the 2017 Las Vegas shooting that, to this day, still remains a mystery. Pelletier is the same dude who, on a previous video, we found out received a pay raise only 50 days after he started the job. $205,000 per year, which was a 29% raise. That was even more than he asked for. Okay, so we know who we're talking about, right? Now get this. The Maui Police Chief with the dark trail of contract controversy and bad luck around him is also the Maui coroner. I gotta tell you, I met with them. I'm also the coroner for those that don't know that. How convenient. Oh, but it gets worse. HB 869 was a bill that passed on January 23rd of this year, just one month after Josh Green took office. But what does HB 869 say? What does it do? Well, the very first section, section one states, the legislature finds that coroners should be separate from law enforcement and free to make independent judgments when investigating deaths. Wow, just 
Wow. It also says, under current state law, the chief of police for a county serves as the coroner if the county does not have a medical examiner. Making coroners independent from law enforcement will promote transparency, avoid conflicts of interest, and encourage more confidence in coroner's rulings. Remember, Maui Police Chief John Pelletier told reporters that the fire had melted metal, making the remains extremely difficult to identify. When we find these you know, our family and our friends, the remains we're finding is through a fire that melted metal. We have to do rapid DNA to identify them. With Pelletier both being in charge of the police department and in power of the investigations of the deaths, there certainly seems to be a sinister conflict of interest here. He knows exactly how many children are missing. After all, we're talking about families living in a small 5.7 square mile area. He can certainly figure out how many children were living in each home. Matt Wallace tweeted, What are the chances that the same guy would be chief of police in two completely different states for both the deadly mass shooting in U.S. history, Vegas shooting, and also the deadliest wildfire, Maui fires, in over 100 years in the U.S. With nearly 500 FEMA personnel on the ground in Maui, along with 270 Red Cross workers, 400 Hawaiian National Guard members, and close to 200 U.S. Army reservists, there is no way that they are still not aware of the numbers. No way. Will Kane provided his explanation as to the missing children reports, or or lack thereof. Lead to me. And this is what I've been told. The number's gonna be way higher. All of those guys said that reluctantly to me. They didn't wanna put numbers on it. They did see they saw many, many bodies. Now I want you to know that as well when I tell you this. There were a lot of children that were sent home from school that day. We need to find out what happened to all those kids. I will say in all of my days over there this past week, having talking to a lot of people, you don't hear people saying, I still can't find this person or I still can't find that person. There's not a great outcry of a missing child or a missing cousin. That does exist, but I'm just telling you, if the numbers are in the 500 to 1,000, I would have thought I would have heard that more. So that does leave me with one last potentiality, which is entire families are gone. Entire groups of people who could not escape and no one left to say, where is my cousin, where is my uncle, where is my child? I, I do think, and I am concerned, it's going to be a story that gets worse before it ever looks better. It's tragic. Independent reporter Nick Sorter posted a very disturbing video along with his tweet that said, Maui police headlock me for asking the mayor about missing children. Mayor Bisson knows the answer, but he's hiding it. The mainstream media have been refusing to press the mayor on this, so residents and I started pressing him hard for the past several days. He's been demonizing and attempting to discredit me ever since. Regardless, we've been able to really blow the lid off this story. This is a cover-up. Children were burned alive. I've even heard horrific first-hand accounts from locals that found baby bones in car seats and bones of a young boy laying on top of his dog to protect it from the inferno. The four schools in Lahaina served over 3,000 students. Only 400 have enrolled in other schools. Another 200 are doing virtual learning. Where are the children, Mr. Mayor? So we're not going to ask we're not gonna ask that question. It's, uh... Many of these ten cadavers yeah. are. Okay. The most okay? first show is over. Okay. Yeah. Right, so he's not gonna ask. He's not gonna answer he's my done. questions. Thank you. They take pictures of me. There's no need for hacking. You're you with Maui Police, right? Yeah, he's done with the press conference. I appreciate your patience. Yeah. Get out of my way. Who are you? With the Maui Police Department. Okay, and what's my crime? You're literally pushing the me. The press conference is I over. I don't f***ing care if the press conference is over. Get out of the way. Oh, sorry. All right, so it's our 110 cadavers, but we can't sir, give them we some can't room, identify. Yeah, we can't identify yeah, how many of them are children. This is get out of my fucking dude. Get off my throat. Relax, sir. Relax. No, I'm not gonna get. Relax. No, I'm not relax. gonna. Get, relax. No, I'm not relax. gonna okay. I'm not gonna relax, dude. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm trying to ask a f***ing question and we can't get the answer for it. How many of the 110 dead are children? You know, you know who are children. 
They're cadavers. You have the bodies. You know how many of them are children. How many children are dead? Step back, please. How many children are dead, Mayor? So you're just, you're just not going to tell. Nick followed that up with another tweet saying the morgue's